If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Aloha, everybody. My name is Maria. What's your name? Kai. Kai, and what are we making today? Uh, taco oh, pie. pie. We are making this really delicious taco pie, and it's in quick and easy ketogenic cooking. You know that's one of Halle Berry's favorites, right? I feel so blessed mm -hmm. that she likes my recipes. It's really cool. So yeah. I am going to uh, get a half a pound of ground beef, and I love using butcher box ground beef because I don't have to drain the fat once I'm done. Uh, because, well, for one, it's organic beef, and the fat is all extra healthy, but there's really not that much after I do this. So I'm going to start doing, um, what am I saying, sauteing the ground beef, right? And I'm going to add about a fourth of a cup of onion right on in there, and I'm going to add my taco seasoning. So my brother Todd, my brother-in-law Todd is so cute. He loves our taco seasoning, um, and we are sending him some extra because you know what I do? I like to make... We did a video, a YouTube video of our t favorite taco seasoning, and then I put it in little gifts like this and um, give that to my friends. Mm -hmm. I used to do food gifts all the time, but my food gifts were always like pie and not healthified pie, right? Mm -hmm. And now we do food gifts that are like taco seasoning. So Kai, while I do this, I want you to crack all of the eggs into this bowl. We're gonna do eight eggs into the bowl. There's one already cracked in there. See, it's nice to have your kids help because he can do that. Well, I do this, right? You are a good cook, aren't you? Yes. yes, you are. He even knows how to make scallops. You should see that video on YouTube. It's so cute. Oops. So you're gonna brown the brown the beef until um, there's no there's no longer pink inside. Okay. Yeah. All that goes in there, and then into the eggs, we're gonna add tomato sauce. You could do salsa if you want. This is just pure, pureed tomatoes. You're gonna add beef broth. If you make your own beef broth, kudos to you. But we are gonna use kettle and fire beef broth because that's what I have in the fridge right now. Fourth of a cup of that. We're gonna do um, salt. Kai, can you grab the Redmond salt over there? I'm gonna do some pepper. Pepper. And we're gonna do um, some cheese, about three-fourths cup of, that's good. Oh. How much? Maybe a little bit more salt. Okay. And we're gonna add some cream cheese, softened cream cheese, right on in there. And garlic. So let me saute. You wanna saute, saute this up a little bit, Kai? Yeah. We'll switch spots. There you go. Good job. And roasted garlic. You could use raw garlic if you want to, but I always make this roasted garlic. I did a YouTube video of it. And I keep this in the freezer, and I just take it out of the freezer, let it thaw, and then it squirts right on out and you have like nice mild garlic instead of that really clawing um, garlicky flavor. It's nice and soft. Oop, we're gonna keep that on in there. All right, we'll switch spots again. Why don't you grab um, a whisk, okay? Got it. Got it, check. So we're almost ready. I'm gonna turn this off because the beef is brown and you are stirring that up, perfect, perfect. And what's really cool, is it's all gonna go right into this pan. If you have a nice cast iron skillet, um, I believe this is an eight inch one, it fits perfectly in this. So Kai, are you all set? Is it all mixed up? It's perfect, isn't it? Wonderful, now I'm going to take this from you and pour this on in here. And now we have our pie mixture. You want your oven on 350, all preheated. I'm gonna stir this up just a little bit yeah. to mix the beef into that egg mixture, right? Mm -hmm. This makes really great leftovers. You're not gonna wanna miss this recipe. You're gonna wanna try this out. Now, just in case, it hasn't happened yet, but just in case, I like to always put what I'm baking, excuse me, bud, right onto a baking tray sheet with rimmed edges like this, just in case it would puff and leak over, but it won't, so into the oven we go. And that's going to bake for about 23 minutes, and we'll catch you back yeah. in a little bit. Aloha! We are back, and the house smells like oh, taco yeah. pie. Uh -huh. Delicious! <laughs> so should we take it out? Mm -hmm. All right. So remember, I put it on this baking sheet, just in case it would spill over, which it didn't. 
I want to show you just how delicious that is. It's this beautiful taco pie that it's super hot right now. I want to uh -huh. see if I can cut into it. This is really like a delicious it's leftover. It's going to be hot inside. It is going to be hot inside. Oh, it's cutting nice. Here we go. We'll see if I made it. Now, what's really cool is um, you can kind of make this your own. If you want olives in it, you could yeah. add some olives. Um, you could garnish it with salsa, sour cream, if you can do dairy. Some, uh, what do we got? It's in this <laughs> It's in that book. book. I wonder if Halle Berry makes it. You think so? She has that book, you know. Mm. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Um, but here is our taco pie. He loves, you love green onion, don't you? Yeah. Yep. So. so anyway, we hope that you like this recipe. Make sure that you tell a friend. Tell yeah. a friend, share this, this with video. your, share this video with your friends. And family. And family. And uh, hit that like button and subscribe everybody. Mahalo. Yeah. Sharing is caring. Share